Hello Stamper! Welcome to Francie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and I'm going to share with you how to do, um, I call it the uh, horse born, whatever you want to call it, the door for the horse. So it's just partial. I'm using the barn uh, door, the sliding uh, door, the framelets, but very little in it, in the sliding um it's called yeah sliding door framelit so let's get started I got a few tips to share uh, that I thought it would work it didn't work so the first thing I thought if I take my uh, main uh, piece of cardstock that is cherry cobbler four and a quarter by five uh, I mean four by five and a quarter I thought to put that there but me and this would be there before I emboss it, stamp it, and then turn it around and stamp it again. Well, that don't work. Why does not work? It's because if you're not right in the center, see, this was perfect. Then I turn it around and stamp, but when you cut it, see, I was not just in the center, so that won't work. Except if you measure and you get it right in the center. So what I done, I stamped my door or my door in the center here and cut it out with the framelit from the sliding door that go with the barn door. I cut it out and it was already stamped. Now we're going to take this part here. I left it on my stamp apparatus. I know I could place it, put the magnet. This for me works. So. What I done now, it's use my uh, memento ink, that's the black that I use, put it there, and it's better if you put a stamp set under there so it's flat. Get a little bit of stuff all over, here we go. Now I'm going to take my door that it's already stamped on this side, now I want it in the back. I'm going to just lay it flat right here on top of it, and then press. Even if it smear a bit, that's okay. It's a barn door. You know, it would look weather or... Now, let me pull this out. Et voila. I got it in the back now. That's the best way I could do it. Let me move this apparatus. Now, what we're going to do, it's take a piece of crumb cake. And I forgot to cut that piece. So we're going to cut this piece here. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit smaller than uh, four by uh, five and a quarter S just to give me a little bit of space in case I'm not just right so then I can uh, it won't show on the side so that's my back of my car now for the horse I did the one that it's not the running one this one here and I stamp it with um, memento color with the blends. And I use the soft suede to color that. So that's our back. Now, this one here that I cut my uh, door from, I emboss it with the pine wood plank. And I put it this way. I wanted my uh, wood to go on the long way. So I emboss it. Now that it's embossed, going to bring my scrap paper here that I used earlier. I'm going to use my memento and I want this one this way. Here we go. It doesn't matter which way I start but here we go and I get some line but that's okay and then I'm going to just make it more weather like I said. Here we go. So now we get that done. Now we're going to put a casing around the door. I did it first and I didn't put a casing. What I mean by the casing, it's the framing around the door. And I felt like it was something missing. So what I done here, let me make sure I'm in the, here we go. We're gonna, I took a piece of basic gray that measured two and a half by three and a half. And you see, it's the same size than the framelit. And I cut that in the framelit, and I get this tiny little piece here. Now we're going to glue that first before we do anything else. 
and you can see where you cut your door you can see the framing around it so really we covered the framing framing I'm gonna bring my silicone mat here and oops it's time to refill. This year, it's uh, I'm using uh, the fine tip glue, but inside my fine tip glue, I put some Tombow glue. The reason why I love this point needle and I love Tombow. So then, it's uh, when you finish with your fine tip glue, don't toss that out. When you're done, tap it and then just cover back up. Uh, put the needle right in and we're going to use it again so I don't have to tie it. Now we're going to take our casing, I think that's the right word for around the door or the framing. We're going to put that there I'm not worried about the glue, it's going to dry clear and I can always take my glue eraser and remove it now we got that there. We're going to take a piece of, it doesn't matter the size, just a strip to glue the bottom. The one that I done, you're going to see that it looked kind of weather. I use my uh, Whisper White Craft Ink and I sponge all around with my Whisper White and I felt the white was a little bit too much. And then I came back with my smoky slate. So that is just to give more depth to the door and more definition. Again, I did that before I had done the casing. So maybe with the casing, we don't even need that. Now I'm coming back with my smoky slate. It's just that it looked a little bit more age. Here we go. We're going to leave that there. Now we're going to take the door and we're going to cut that in half and I was debating is that going that side or that going that side I put this on that side it's no right and wrong whatever works for you somebody may be going to say no you go the other way but for me it's it's all good I try to line that up about in the center here and just cut it so now we get our two piece now, one it's the top, one it's the bottom. So the bottom one, that's the one that I think we need to reinforce. So what I done, this is too long here. Uh, you're going to need about a four inch, a little bit less than four inch. And I just took two glue dots here. You can use any type of glue, it doesn't matter. Just put it at the bottom. So then we get like a reinforce, uh, thing for the bottom of the door because this one we don't want it to move this gonna come right here so now I'm gonna put adhesive right on this one this one won't open okay gonna put that right here it go right in my opening make sure that it's right there et voila now we got that part done the next step we're gonna do I'm, um, I like to have crumb cake in the back just to show like inside the barn. So we're going to glue this at the top of that, but I use a dimensional to give some depth. So I use this strip. So we're going to put that here. It don't have to be all that length. I, I thought it was giving a little bit more depth. The, the strip a little bit... Um, thicker than the regular dimensional. Put that there. Here. I thought I had a piece loose someplace here. Well, I got another little piece I'm going to use here. Here we go. So now that we got that, make sure we're going to put that on our crumb cake. You don't want to put nothing here because we're going to slide the horse there. First I had put the strip to reinforce here. Well my horse was not sliding good and I have to keep on trimming. So it's better if you don't put nothing there in the center. 
Now I get this. I'm going to leave that this way. So then I don't have to worry that it's going to pass on the side. So that's why I just cut it a little bit smaller. Now that I already and cut this, one thing that I want to point out though. If you take your stamping blend and you use the side of the brush there, you see where the white, if you don't want that, you can just do the side of it. Just do from the... Uh, not the point because that would damage the point so this is going to remove all the white so you don't have to cut right at the edge so then voila you don't have no more white showing now <clears throat> we're going to take the horse and I had something there that's okay we're going to put that right there I glue the horse with glue dots so we're going to put glue dots in the back of the horse here we go we're gonna slide in there M R R. here we go now oh shoot I forgot something I forgot something that's okay I'm gonna make it work uh, we need two more pieces of uh, red. So let me reach for red. Red, it's cherry cobbler that I'm using. I need one inch. Okay. And one by a quarter. You're going to need two of them because the door needs to be able to open and close. So we get two, and I should have done that before I glued the back in, but we're going to make it work. You're going to fold this here in two, and fold this one in two. So this is going to get glued in the back here. See, it's going to get glued there. So what we're going to do inside, we're going to put our glue. So like the first one, I did that before I put the back. So it was a little bit easier. Maybe it's a tiny bit too long here. There we go. So I'm going to put my glue here. I'm going to just slide that right under here. Oh, that worked lovely. You know what? Sometimes you make a, re a mistake for a reason. It show you the easiest way. That worked very good here. So it's, oh, this, see I get my, um, it's a bit too long. So what I'm going to do, it's cut this here a bit. Because I'm eating my piece of um, dimensional Push that down. Here we go. Now our piece of the card there, and this is going to get put right on top of it. So then it's going to have something to open and close. The little inch that I put in the front, really it's just for decoration. It would not be strong enough. So take your door, your partial door there. Put that right here. Press that there. Now we're good. Now those little inch that I got, that's for a decoration. So what we're going to do is put a little tap there, little tap there, and we're going to put one right here. And then the next one, we want to fold in two because it's going to bend so fold it in two and this one you don't want to put no glue in the center absolutely not because it have to be able to give a little bit so you're going to put just a little bit there a little bit there now oops Let's take this here. 
there we go make sure it goes see now our door it's moving and we get the inch it's red it really don't show so it's very good now I want it like a little handle and uh, to make my handle I was like I want it to raise up a bit let me put this back in okay what I done I used the glue dots and I really crunched the glue dot so I rolled it up do like a little ball of glue there so I get one there we're gonna take another one oops I got one right here crunch it a little bit and put that in the bag there now when you're going to put this this is like an handle so you want to round that up a bit so i put this here and push it up just a little bit et voila so now we get this with the wood texture i stamp let it right and I use the memento ink and I use the smallest in my stitch framelit. This one is upside down. So I use the smallest there and I cut that. We're going to put that with glue dots. Make sure I'm still in the camera there. We're going to put that right here. Oh, this one we can put straight. One straight, one sideways. We're going to decide which one we like better. See, it's almost done. Now, uh, this is basic grade that measure four and a quarter by eleven. Score at four. Uh, I mean, five and a half. Where you see the mountain, where, where it's raised up, that's going to be inside, and the indent it's on the outside. So that way, your cardstock will not crack. Now, I use the smoky slate with a piece of whisper white cardstock four by five and a quarter I'm using the one that looked like wood uh, texture in a uh, timeless uh, texture I think yeah timeless texture so I'm using this one here and let me bring back my scrappy paper here and what I done is just I did like a frame all around for the inside. I was not sure if I wanted what I wanted to put for my insides. I said, well, I'm just going to decorate it this way. And then I went back here. Here we go. You can add more. Et voila. So now we're going to put that inside. Of our basic gray. So the ink, it's smoky slate, but the card base, it's basic gray. Now we're going to take this. And we're going to put this at the top. Now it's to find out if the recipient going to be able to find where the horse is. You can put a little memo inside and say, can you find the horse? So now if you take your little handle, see, it opened. So this is it, and that's one that stand up. So I think it's the perfect layout for this. So voila, my friend. That's how I did my um, barn door for a horse. Hope you enjoyed this. I will have all measurements and all supplies that I use on my blog. Below in the description, you get the direct link or above in the eye. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye.